Behind me here is not only a family friendly bunkhouse travel trailer model, but it has some big boy bunks. So if you got bigger kids, I'm talking kids that might even be over six feet tall, this is one that you should consider here. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are here at Blue Compass RV today in Canton, Texas, taking a look at this Forest River Aurora 29TQS. And I'm gonna walk up to it just because those are some letters that can easily get confused. 29TQS. This thing here is a pretty interesting bunkhouse travel trailer. And real quick before we get into it, I wanna let you know, again, I'm here at Blue Compass RV in Canton, Texas. And if you are interested in this travel trailer or just ready to start shopping for your next RV, whatever it may be, they even have a bunch of motorhomes as well that are not at this location, but they have over 100 different locations across the United States, across 33 different states. So literally can find just about anything you would ever want within Blue Compass. You can click the link down below in the description or comments of this video where you can get exact up-to-date pricing information and all of the location information that you may need. So go click that link there. Now this here is a Forest River Aurora and this product here is actually exclusive to Blue Compass. So you will only find this at a Blue Compass dealer and this is a aluminum sided wood framed travel trailer. So aluminum siding, you can see here, this is gonna make it an entry level travel trailer, giving it a very nice aggressive price point, which you'll see when we go inside, you can see the wood framing there through the storage space on this travel trailer as well. And we'll look at some of the other stuff outside, including that outdoor kitchen when we come back out. But let's go take a look at everything inside. And real quick as well, just want to make sure I give a spot to show you the floor plan layout and the specs in case those weren't on the screen already. Just want to make sure there was some time to be able to show that. It might have already popped up on the screen, but in case there wasn't enough time, just want to give a space for that. Again, the 29 TQS, you have this nice safety rail going into the travel trailer, extends all the way down so you don't have to step up to reach that rail. You have a solid step entering in. And as we go inside, right away, you're going to have an 81 inch ceiling height in here so it feels nice and spacious and you can see this is a pretty family friendly living room layout where you have the u-shaped dinette table so lots of seating space there a two cushion sofa you also have a strap there to kind of hold it in place make sure it doesn't move while you're going up and down the road a nice conveniently placed tv where you don't have a really you know aggressive neck angle that you got to maneuver your neck to get a good view of the tv so pretty good viewing angle from the sofa here. You also get a fireplace, so that's an electric heat source. You have a JBL sound system in here, so there's your sound controls and your speakers are up in the ceiling. This TV size looks to be about 42 to maybe 45 inches or so. Um, looks like you could fit a slightly larger TV as well. You just gotta be careful that it doesn't block this door right there. Right when we walk in as well, you have a nice pantry space. So look at all that shelving storage that you get through here. Lots of space there to store your food items and whatever else you may need in that area. Have your control panel here, awning control, slide out controls, water heater controls, has a gas and electric water heater, and you have Bluetooth connection for this as well. Plus this has a little light activation thing on it so when you walk by it, it'll light up so you can see it at night. Going into this kitchen space, you have a three burner stove here Pretty standard size RV stove and oven. Nothing too crazy big, but perfect for camping. You have your drawer here. This does have some dividers in it. And then more drawers down through here, the same size. Storage underneath the sink. You have a black faucet, a plastic sink through here, a white plastic sink. You have a window here seen out into your campsite, some storage up above this area. And then these are gonna be like a wrapped cabinet door there. Standard RV size microwave. And then get to the refrigerator. You see you have a latch here to keep that closed while you're going down the road. And open this up and you have a nice 12 volt refrigerator. Plenty of spots there to put some drinks as well. Let's get to the price real quick on this. Definitely a very affordable bunkhouse travel trailer. You can see 
36 feet long in a dry weight of 7,462 pounds and being a 36 foot long camper still only 34,995. Now again to get the most up-to-date pricing information and all the different locations you can find this RV click the link down below in the description of this video or in the comments of this video where you can find all that information there. You also have a 15,000 BTU AC, a Jiffy sofa, we're going to take a look at that in a second, and again your 12 volt electric fridge. More pantry storage here, so plenty of kitchen storage in this travel trailer, which is great if you got a big family. This is going to be a great option for you, not only because of all the kitchen storage space, but also all the kids that you can fit in these bunk beds here. Look at how big these bunk beds are. This is absolutely insane. This area is so cool. You have an AC up in here, so this is gonna be another AC source in this bedroom. It'll just keep this area cool as this doesn't look like it's ducted to anything else. However, the other AC in the living room is ducted into here, so if you just have one AC on in the living room, it will still get air back into this area. Before we check the size of these beds, you have all of this shelving storage here in this space. And you have all of this storage here underneath the bed as well. You have your heat vent down underneath the bed, so that's how your heat will get into this room. Outlets and you or sorry, USB ports and USB Type C connection here, plus another USB Type C connection there. Crazy to see that on this entry level of a travel trailer, where a lot of even bigger stuff and more expensive stuff doesn't even have those new USB ports on it. Um, let me get this set up here so we can see the exact dimensions of the bed here for you. Look at this, y'all. This bed. Get the light on under here too. Didn't even realize there was a light there. This bed is, wow, 61 inches wide, or I guess 60 inches wide. So it is five feet wide. And the length on this, wow, five feet wide. That's crazy. And the length on this here is about six foot two. So if you're six foot two or under, you can actually lay all the way across on this bed. And if you're over six foot two, you can just lay diagonal a little bit and you still have plenty of sleeping space there. Five feet wide on this, literally this is enough space to fit three smaller children on one bed. I mean, that is a massive sleeping space that you're getting there. So really impressed with that. Both beds are the same size. So hopefully this gives you a good solution for somebody looking for bigger bunk beds in a travel trailer. Love the space that you get with that and think this will be a great option for people with larger kids or if you just got a lot of kids and you just want to throw them all back in this space. Here's some big beds for y'all to sleep on. Now as we turn back around and come back out this way, let's take a look at some of the things here in the living room area. In your dining table, you can see you have the legs here and then these legs can be, oh, also you might have just heard the AC kick on. Um, the AC is on in here, it just turned off because it got down to temperature. But your AC is up there in the ceiling. You also have a max air vent fan here in the kitchen. It is a little bit of a noisier AC, so if you don't want a loud AC, this might not be the right RV for you. You can always come look at this RV in person and ask them to turn the AC on for you so you can hear what it sounds like if you're really interested in this RV. But, you know, it's an entry level travel trailer, so it has a little bit of a noisier AC. Storage space down underneath here, you can get to it from there, or you can also lift this space up and you can get to it from right here. Love that you have a nice thick base for this dining table. See how thick that is there? That looks like it's probably like, you know, I don't remember how thick these are, but it's probably about a quarter inch thick as opposed to like an eighth inch thick that you see with some other stuff. So you have all that there. Again, this table drops down. You can make this whole area into another bed if you want. These beds are usually about six and a half feet long or so at least, maybe possibly about seven feet long. And then, uh, you know what? I hate that I have my tape measure on me and I'm making assumptions on measurements. Let's just go ahead and get you set up here on the camera again and let's just measure it out and see so we can really know for sure. So what I bring this tape measure for, if you appreciate my extra effort I'm going through with this tape measure, let me know down below in the comments. Um, bed length on this, if I could get this thing to go straight, is going to be right at around Ooh, let's go. Come on. Get this out all the way. There we go. Yeah, you're looking at about six and a half feet right there. You take these back cushions out right here and you're going to get about six and a half feet or so, maybe six foot eight on that bed length. Now let's come over to, well, let's look at some of the windows first here. You have these 
kind of curtain looking things on the windows that helps excess light from bleeding through. You have a pull down black pleated shade on the windows. Nice looking kind of hotel style light fixture there. And then right here, this sofa, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I haven't even messed with yet. So let's see what this looks like. Whoop, moving the camera the wrong direction. Let's see what we can do here with this sofa. Sure, you take these back cushions off, throw those over here. Don't judge the fanny pack, that's where I keep the tape measure so y'all can get these measurements as well as some of my camera equipment as well. Drop that here. Oh, okay, so this, oh my gosh, y'all. Well, that sure is easy. They're not, okay, there's storage down underneath here a little bit. Yeah, there's a little storage space and then it just flips down like that. Wow, that's like easy as could be. It's not a super big bed, as you can see there, but it does give you another sleeping space, maybe for a smaller child. Let's see. You got about 52 inches on the length on this, maybe 51 inches. And the width, you're right at 48 inches on that. So maybe you have a kid that's having themselves a little bit of a, you know, temper tantrum, having to, you know, fighting with their siblings or whatever, and you need another spot for them to sleep for the night to be happy. There you go. You have a solution with that where they could also sleep right here. Very easy to get that in and out of the bed position there. Put these back cushions back in place. Love how easy that was. So much easier than like a trifold sofa. It just doesn't give you quite as big of a bed as a trifold sofa would. So there's that. Then going back into this area again, you have your fireplace, multiple different light settings on this. I think the, uh, let's see. Nope, that's, oh yeah, here we go. See all your different light settings on this fireplace there. Storage underneath here. And storage through here as well. Going into the bathroom, it's gonna be a dual entry bathroom. You have a plastic foot flush toilet there. It is cornered off and the whole toilet is plastic. You're going to have your shower here. It's a corner shower. Now in this shower, you'll be able to be 6'3 up to here and then 6'7 to 6'8 up into the skylight there. So still a good amount of space. You can see the base here a good amount of room but it is a corner shower if you want a rectangular shower and are hard set on that this may not be the right rv for you but i certainly could live with a corner shower it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me i know storage under there plastic sink here enough space to fit your hands in there and storage space through here behind the medicine cabinet with some sparkle glass cleaner there Entry into the bedroom from the bathroom so you can get done taking your shower and go straight to the bedroom to get dressed. You don't have to go out through a hallway or anything. And then you have a queen size bed in here and oh boy, we better get the tape measure because that's looking like an RV queen to me, not a residential queen. Let's get it set up again and let's do some more measuring. Let's get the camera down right here. Okay, let me measure this real quick. You got... Length on this, about 75 inches, so 6'3", 75 by 60. Yeah, so it's about five inches shorter than a residential queen. That would be 60 by 80. So 75 by 60, again, it's 6'3", so I know me being 6'1", without my shoes on, if I had pillows and stuff up there, I'd, my feet are probably gonna hang off the end. But, you know, just bend your knees a little bit. Mattress on here, actually not, wow, surprisingly not terrible. I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy, but it's not a brick either. It's not too bad. Um, I actually could probably live with that mattress. Have a spot here to hang some clothes, storage up above here. And you have your AC ducted into this space here with your AC vent there. Outlets and USB ports on each side of the bed, plenty of bedside table space as well. Windows on both sides. And you have a spot for a TV on the wall up here. If you want to install a TV, it would go on that wall. Entry back out into the living room. The door was left open. No carpet in the slide out, as you can see right there. So you have your slide there. And with the slide closed, it's pretty easy to see already. 
Let's go ahead and close it, actually. We push this slide in. You should be able to still get to this refrigerator, no problem. And we'll see about the bathroom. The bathroom could be a little iffy. It might be close. What, you, what do you think? Are we going to be able to squeeze by there? Or is it going to be too tight? We shall see here in just a second. We shall see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's getting tight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang. OK, slide is all the way in. You cannot get in there. So you can also not get back to this space. You will have to climb over to get to your refrigerator. So with the slide closed, you can still open the refrigerator. You just got to do some climbing and to get to this bathroom, there really is no way because they did not give a second entry door into this bathroom here or into this bedroom. Yeah, you can see no entry door there. So you will have to push this slide out. Let's see how long it takes. You'll have to push the slide out. Depending on how much width you need, you'll have to push it out for probably about five to 10 seconds to slide by here and be able to get to that bathroom. So something to keep a note of there. Let's actually leave this in right now and we'll come outside and take a look at some stuff on the outside and wrap this video up. So as we step out, not a whole heck of a lot to talk about out here, but you do have color changing LED lights up in the awning. So right now they're kind of like a teal color. You probably can't see it that well with the sunlight, but you'll have remote control to change the color on those JBL speakers outside as well. So a more premium outdoor speaker. You have a griddle cooktop out here. You have a bottle opener in your outdoor kitchen and you have your mini refrigerator with a nice tray, a little freezer portion in there and some storage space. You have electric stabilizers, or not electric, sorry, manual stabilizers for all of your stabilizer legs on this travel trailer. You can connect a drill to these and shoot those down faster. That's a you know easy way to really get those down quick. Down underneath here, you can see you have a fully enclosed underbelly. All of your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly down underneath there. It also, I can tell, is using a BAL next-gen frame. That BAL frame uses a lot of huck bolt fasteners instead of welds which are significantly stronger than welds. So that's a pretty durable frame that you have there. Does not come with a ladder, stand, a ladder standard, so you'll get, be able to get this Lipper retractable ladder, which you can set up right there. Now, I don't really like that it doesn't come with a ladder standard, but the one benefit to the Lipper retractable ladder is you can use that for other things besides your RV, keep it in the house or whatever you may want. 50 amp connection right here because it does have the two ACs outdoor shower and water connections there. Plus, if you want to mount a flag out here, whether you want to be a Patriot and put up an American flag, or you want to have a sports team flag or anything like that, you can fly your flag. You have your tires back here. It's a Rainier tire and you have a standard suspension. It's a 225-75R15 tire on that. You have two different dump stations. So it looks like that's gonna be your gray tank to the right for the um, kitchen sink. And then you have a black and a gray tank over here for the bathroom. Stabilizers up front. There is solar on the roof, I believe. I can't get up there obviously, but you see your storage space through here. You have your battery up here, solar disconnect. I say there should be solar up there because there is a solar you know, battery connection right here. 220 pound propane bottles, power tongue jack. I don't know, I can actually get y'all up there, I think. Y'all let me know if you see solar up there. If you see some solar, let me know down below in the comments. I can't see what the camera is seeing right now, but you can see the roof, hopefully, from that perspective. And you can let me know what's up there. So that is just about everything, y'all. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And again, if you are interested in this travel trailer RV, you can find it exclusively at Blue Compass. So if you want more pricing and location information, click the link in my bio, or not in my bio, but talking like I'm on TikTok or Instagram here. Click the link in the description of this video down below or in the comments as well. It'll be the pinned comment. You can find exact pricing information and location information that is up to date. And that's all I got for y'all. So until next time, live firmly unbound.